good morning guys welcome to today today is friday fun friday that's what we used to call it for homeschool we always used to do fun things on friday but now it's just regular friday because it's summer and every day is fun anyway welcome I to today fun friday. yeah so we've been in the afternoons i've been really working on our I homeschool and Sophie has been working on her journal, and Sophie made this journal. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at the, look at the spine. I love it. And then she put this uh, pattern at the back, but this is her journal for this year. Mm -hmm. So super cute. I love the pattern she picked. Gabby has not done hers yet, but this is what we usually do on the first day. But I have other fun stuff for us to do but on the I first day. I wanted to do it. Yeah, she wanted to do it. I want to do it too, but. I'm a busy woman. No time for fun stuff, you guys. And I want to have a little bit of help. Yeah, you just asked for suggestions on what to do, but you did it all but yourself. I, not for the back. No, not for the back, but it's so cute. It's a gorgeous day on the day-by-day -day farm, and as you will see, we separated Storm from the herd. Poor Storm. The sun is so bright, I can't see a thing. 75 degrees when it's 75 degrees that means it's gonna be a hot one you guys I'm gonna have to go look at the pool some but people a couple of people have been asking about the pool I haven't been down to see it in weeks <laughs> it's probably green like so super green so I'm gonna go check that out today so it's true what we separated the boys because Finn has like a show coming up soon and we don't want him to be all lame and that is not the only reason not just because we want to use him he also has too many cuts too many cuts yeah we just tr we're just trying it we're just trying it, but unfortunately, they're going to be together soon when we move them to the winter pasture. Hello, kitty cats! Oh my goodness, they're so cute. See, I'm always gentle around them. Yeah, she's really gentle. Off! Listen, I do not like to be knocked over when always I'm gentle. kneeling because even though you're cute, you're powerful. They start purring when you pick them up. They immediately start purring when you pick them up? I believe it. Which one's the sweetest? Like, which one's the... the they're both nice now. This one, but he still runs away when you try to pick him up. Yeah, because he's a man. Men don't like to be picked up. Right? You're a man. But he's really sweet now. Can you guys hear him purring? He's a baby. Yeah, they're still really young. They're like 10 weeks now. He's big, though. Yeah. He's, he's not big. For, well, he is big. It's so different when you have your own cat from when you have somebody else's cat because you know you can't really connect well, with them well, because they all, they're see going how home. Big he is? Yeah. All right, let's go feed our horses. Come on, get the get the grain. Oh, I dreamed someone had a wedding. Oh, we'll get the tire. You dreamed someone had a wedding? Yeah. Oh gosh, who was it? I don't know. Did you I dreamed it before? Did you go to the wedding? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody's getting married, you guys. Was it your sister? Mm -hmm. Were you the same age as you are now? Yeah? Hmm. Could be a wedding. Who could it be? I love a good wedding. See if it works. Nope, that did not work. Good suggestion, guys, but it did not work. Maybe we need a bigger tire. Yeah, nope. He likes his food on the ground. Yes, it's there. You get it. Don't worry. See, because I can't hear, I didn't even know. Gabby took Finn out when he was behind me in the field. Good morning, ponies. Good morning, Sophie. Gabby and I were just talking about how, like, when your clothes get too big, you have to learn to love. Gabby said you have to learn to love the feeling of not being bloated more than you love the feeling of food. And I have had that sometimes. And that is true. And Sophie said, Sophie said, I love food more than feeling of food. She loves the feeling of food more than the feeling of not being bloated. And being bloated for me and my clothes not fitting is the worst feeling on earth. So, yeah, last week I ate too much and this week I'm paying for it. So now I have to go backwards and eat less. That's the worst. I thought it was a worst. Especially in summer. Like, don't you guys want to always eat more in summer? Like, it's easier to gain weight in winter because you don't do much. But the food in summer always tastes so good. Do you think it tastes so good? Like ice cream and steak. I mean, we could have that in winter. Steak. Yeah, we could have it in winter, but it doesn't taste the same. What? Steak doesn't taste good. It's only ice cream. Gabby used to love meat. Now she doesn't. She likes ice cream better. So today on the agenda, we got nothing planned. We got nothing planned. Like, how crazy is that? But don't you worry. We will always plan something or we will always figure something out. I definitely think we need to do something with the ponies. It's going to get hot today. It's, when it's hot, we don't do as much with our horses. 
when it's super hot. Sucks. Flies are attacking me now because yeah. I chewed them away yeah. from Ethan's coat. Gina actually got loose last night. How did Gina get loose last night? So Dad was taking Storm out to put him in the new field. Gina ran past me out, but then he started eating his food. Then he went back so he could eat his food? Then he started eating his food, so I grabbed his halter. That's why his halter was down. Oh, so his food was out here and he ran past you out of the field? It was out there. He was out there? Yeah. But he had, his food was there, so he just started eating. Where did he run past you? In this field? Yes. Oh, gosh. But so it's the... fine as long as you have food. She brings it right to your feet, Sophie. Give me more! <laughs> you are a good pony, but you do not need any more food. Scared steal Chino's grain now. Yeah, he's gonna try. <laughs> good, now we're on opposite side of the feds, but could I have some? Yeah, he's like, darn it, they outsmarted me. And Chino takes forever. That's why we always stand here and chat, because he takes forever. Now he still has to eat all the grain on the ground. And the crazy thing is, is that he literally he will stay- a quarter of his grain. He lost a quarter of his grain? He still has, he a, still quarter has a quarter of his grain. grain? Holy heck. Uh, the crazy thing is, is that even if I open the gate and there's like grain on the ground, he, even if his friends are somewhere else, he stays there. He likes to lick his plate clean. He loves his food. Stormy boy has joined the group. He's been away all night. Let's see what happens. He might be angry. Sometimes he, he acts angry. See, he be looking. He's or, like, what's going on over there? Or he could have been happy to... Yeah, or maybe he was happy to be alone. He seemed happy in that field. He's looking over at Gabby. Like, he, he would just stay with Gabby if he could. Uh-oh. Like, usually he takes off running when he's mad. So that's what I'm always waiting for. Like, when he's mad... Can you go turn on the water? Look at his ears. He's happy. Yeah, he's happy. Hi! Oh, he's telling Ruby what Molly what to do. Molly, you better run. He's coming to herd you. You see? Her, her toy. Just because his ears are forward doesn't mean you can feel it. He's mad. <laughs> it's not that he's mad, it's that he thinks that he needs to boss everybody around. So he's, oh, he's, he's like, oh, what do you mean I can't get your food? That's rude. <laughs> see him taking that in? Mm hmm. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> All right, so I absolutely hate the idea of a tire because now I have to move this thing and since they have like access to the whole yard, I don't know where I'm going to be able to put it. Yeah, we're never using it again. It's a good thing to try though. Pretty sure uh, Chino's going to follow Sophie all the way to the gate because she's got the food buckets. All right, so we are back at the house. This is the time of day when we get our chores done, get the house clean. Although you guys should know we don't do a lot of house cleaning in the summer because we're always outside. In Canada, you try and get all your summertime outside in before it gets cold. And it's about to get cold. I've noticed that we have fall weather already. In fall, it gets really cold at night and it's freezing in the morning, but then gets so hot in the daytime. I'm it's like my as favorite tall as weather. You. Yeah, you're getting there. I'm as tall as you. Anyway, so I wanted to give you guys like a quick update about my horse, about my horse shopping. So you guys know I don't want to buy a horse until we move. If I found a horse, like it just fell into my lap and it was the right horse, then I would get it anyways. Which reminds me, I need to check on our horses. I don't see them, so I need to go outside and check. I don't see them and the water's overflowing, so we got to run down there. Not a horse in sight. They're gone, I'm telling you right now, they're gonna be gone forever because I'm gonna kill them. Ah, that's so annoying. <laughs> Isn't that annoying? They're like, what, mom? What? What's the problem? We just be hanging here eating grass in the shade. They found the shade, that's all. Ah, crazies. Well, I'm glad to know you guys didn't try and escape. Thank you so much for that. They like these thistles. And the shade. You like the shade, huh, big boy? Big boy. I'm really impressed with them. Hey, Stormy. I'm impressed with them because they know where the water is. They go to the water. They know where the shade is. They go to the shade when they need it. Like, you definitely need like a buried environment for horses. 
they really like when you have room for them to roam. Hey, I think we'll go down to the thistle pile today and have lunch or I think I'll hit the shade in the afternoon so that I can stay cool, cool and eat, just eat the nice long grass or let's go sunbathe over in the short grass and watch the house see if anybody comes to do anything with us. Like they like choices just like people. Did it prickle you? Don't eat that. That might be poison. I don't know. Hey, Fanny boy. Handsome. Yeah. Okay, so about the update about my horse, I might as well just stay here and tell you because I actually want to finish painting my jumps, my, my tires. But before I do that, like today the girls and I were watching last summer's video, a summer video, and our jumps like were not so pretty. And this year, just like being out here and seeing how pretty our jumps look is so different. Like I'm in love with how much color there is out here. It's always good to make things look nicer. It makes you always feel better. It makes you feel happier to be in that space. But anyways, so the update on my horse. So you guys know, if you guys watch the riding videos, if you guys watch the riding videos, that's where all the tea comes out because Fiona and I get chatting or Brandon and I get chatting and we talk about things that are coming up. So anyway, Gabby's going to horse camp soon and Sophie didn't want to go to horse camp. So when um, so if we go, when Gabby goes to horse camp, I am going to have my, see if I can fit my lessons in at the Pasofino farm that week and take Sophie with me. And I think I've kind of been waiting to really look for a horse till I see, talk to the lady Camilla at the, at the Pasofino farm. It's called Fina Vista. And the reason that I want to wait to talk to her is because in my heart, even though a gypsy is like my second choice, in my heart it's my second choice. Like, I feel the most alive when I ride a Pasofino. The problem with the Pasofino is that they're small horses and I'm not a small lady. I'm 5'9 and they're short horses. With a gypsy, they are really wide so they take up a lot of leg. Not so much with a Pasofino. But anyway, I'm gonna talk to her and see what she has to say. So I'm gonna talk to her and see what she has to say. Like, maybe there's a Pasofino in my future. Like, I just gotta wait and see you guys. So that'll be happening soon. I'm waiting to make any like big decisions until after I get to talk to her. All right, so we are down at the barn. Gabby's going to ride Chino. I'll explain a little bit about that. I love those pants on Gabby though. She's wearing her Noble Outfitters. Oh, looks like I can't ride him. Oh no, he lost a shoe? No, it's coming loose. It's like oxygen. How is this happening? Ugh. Chino, bad boy. Chino, what are you? See, it's coming loose. I can wiggle it and get my finger under it. I wonder what happened. Chino, like, there's got to be a reason both of his his shoes are coming loose. Could be that his toes are growing too fast. Oh, there's a bee. I bet they're not growing too fast. So excited that he got to come. I was like, oh. He's not in there right now. Again. Yeah. So, yeah, that's annoying. That's so annoying. Uh, so, so, annoying. so Sophie made a little box toy for the kittens and obviously Ollie loves it. Gabby's so sad. It makes my heart hurt that she's just dragging her horse back into the field. Like, we bought her this new horse so that she could have a whole new experience and and, and progress to the next level in her riding. And she does love him and she loves riding him. And there he sits, lame as heck, and no shoes. So I'm going to message the farrier and tell him. I'm going to declare today pony day. Time to play with the ponies. I'm going to clean up all the poop. And the girls are probably going to groom them, get them ready, and we'll take them for something. Do something with them in the arena. You want to go do something, little pony? She's like, no, just give me more food. She needs to be cut. She mane needs to be cut. Her mane needs to be cut? Yeah. You're holding her tail. I'm deaf and you tell me her mane needs to be cut. I feel like that was a trick. Because I automatically thought you meant her tail. And I'm like, yeah, trim it up. But her mane... Okay, I'll agree. All the subscribers... Out oh, it's so soft, you guys. I just brushed it. Yeah, brushed it? It was so knotted. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so I'll say it's got to go on an angle like this. And you can Fiona. what? Just tell Fiona to do it. Because we're gonna. Fiona cut it is really good at cutting names. We're gonna cut it someday. 
She's it's gorgeous though. Pretty. She's so doing. pretty. You're gonna work on that? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. She need does need her nail her haircut. I was thinking it the other day. Like I'm thinking like a trim. No, she needs it straight across. No, not straight across. I like this look on her. She's like a Barbie pony, but oh my gosh, you guys, I wish you could They'll feel grow it. Back naturally. Yeah. But this is natural. What do you, you know, think, the Gracie? Shape is natural, but... What do you think? Do you want your hair trimmed? Do you want your hair trimmed? Thanks. I mean, we're getting ready to go into winter, but oh my goodness. Literally the cutest pony on earth. She's one of my favorite horses. I think I probably have the biggest connection with her. Even though I don't do anything with her, she's just such a personable little pony, and we have the same color hair. She does not like croupers. She hates them. You hate Did Did you even brush her hair? Poor Gracie's over there looking gorgeous, and Willow's over here looking like a Rega muffin. Like she Let's spray some stuff in her hair and make it gorgeous. Cause look at she's got a lot of hair. That is a lot of hair. It's okay. It's okay, Minnie. I bet you if we let her smell it. It's not gonna hurt you. It's not gonna hurt you. It's not gonna hurt you. This is our favorite conditioner, right? Yeah. And what bottle also, lasts us forever? We also like Cowboy Magic. Yeah, we do like Cowboy Magic a lot, but this is nice. Okay, so a while the girls, a while away, the afternoon, playing with their ponies. Puppy's playing with her rocks. I am going to finish painting my tires. They're almost done. All right, so my yellow tire and my red tire are pretty much finished. The next time I come out, they will be dry. Like the next time we have a lesson out here, they'll be completely dry and I'll be able to put them in the ring and we'll have more color. I told Kaylee she could have three of our tires because Sam got all those other tires, like so many of them, and it's just kind to share. So I told her that we want to keep like the red, yellow, and blue so she can have like the purple, pink, and green. I don't know, whatever. So I also have this jump I want to give to her. I have blue paint that I'm going to use for this tire and then I'll be finished with the tires. Someone suggested that we fill these holes with day by day logo and I'm gonna get Sam on that this week. Who remembers this jump? It's a big huge heavy duty jump. Needs some painting and it needs like some way to balance them better. They always fall down in the field. But I have big heavy duty jump cups that go with it and I'm gonna give that to Kaylee so she can start collecting all her own new jumps because it took us like a year and a half to collect all these jumps. You gotta start somewhere. So looking good. So some people have been asking, holy heck, what's Sophie doing with Willow? Has she not been getting ready? We've been like still looking for a cart. I found a couple, but I have a price limit for it. And I am waiting to get the price limit, but she's pretty much ready to go to the next step. Except for we didn't put the bit in because the bridle with the bit was a bit big. Here's the demonstration. Everybody ready? Okay. She probably won't do it now that I'm standing here. Okay. Try a trot. So good! You guys, this is a little pony that was never handled except for the last two years of her life and she's an old girl. Never had love, just had babies. How impressive is that? Like that's amazing. So proud. Like help, it's a bit, it's in my mouth. This part fits, but like. She's like, I thought you were the nice house. Not the bit house. Okay, so we are at some place. Oh my god, people are staring at me. There's some place that we love. Some place that we used to go when I was a kid. This is why I can't stick to a healthy diet. Because Sam came home from work and said, Hey, let's go to the chocolate factory. Who can refuse the chocolate factory? Not Sophie. Gabby, can you refuse the chocolate factory? Hmm? Can you refuse the chocolate factory? 
Anyway, there's a line. There's a line for the chocolate factory, so I'm just gonna chill here. Sam and Sophie be standing in line. There's only two kind of chocolates that I like in the chocolate, chocolate factory. I, I hate plain chocolate. Plain chocolate makes me feel sick. I always have to have something in it. So I like chocolate covered almonds, and they do this other thing, and I'm hoping that they have it today. Stop biting my ears. They have like, they sell boxes of their extras, like the stuff that didn't make it to the good stuff. They sell boxes of chocolate caramels, and I love it. You coming? Yeah, I'm coming in a minute. You know that we are serious about our chocolate in Canada when there's a lineup to get in the chocolate factory. So we have been here a lot of times and it's all chocolate. There's your popcorn. Oh. My favorite are these. They don't usually look like that. These are my favorite. Oh, I like those. Me and Gabby would split these because we like these. At Christmas they have these. These bars, this was four, this was five dollars for one package. One, two, three, four, five, six things. At Christmas time, they have a huge box filled with all the imperfect ones. Like a huge box for $9.99. And my favorite thing to do with chocolate, like especially chocolate like this, is to put it in the freezer and then eat it freezing cold. Like this is my favorite. I also got chocolate covered raisins. You either like raisins or you don't. Sam got almonds, I should have got almonds, but I decided to get raisins this time. Do you like chocolate covered raisins? Kind of. Oh, darn it. Yeah, that is it for today's video. I just wanted to say some people were upset with my prank video. I do plan to do more prank videos, but I just wanted to say this about the people that were upset. I feel bad that people get upset at things when we do them. But if you live your life never doing anything because of the people that are gonna be upset by what you do, you're never gonna get anywhere. You're never gonna do any of the things that you need to do in life. If pranks are something that trigger you, definitely don't watch them. There are things that trigger me and there are videos of them, that stuff out there, and I just pass right by them because I know that it's gonna be an emotional thing for me. So in the future, if we do a prank and it's uh, you see a title and you know it's gonna trigger you, just keep on passing by. I totally don't mind at all because I don't wanna trigger anybody. But we are always going to keep on being us and doing the things that we love. Making our channel our own. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Got Sophie over there. We just got home. And I'm excited to see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?